Do you have a standard panel view? The one with the black bezel that you need to upgrade to a modern HMI? Standard panel views were obsoleted over eight years ago and the repair used market is growing pretty thin. How much time would it take to convert or rebuild your standard panel view application to some other HMI? Lots of work, right? Potentially hundreds of hours. The bigger question is how many production dollars will be lost because your standard panel view died and you can't find a replacement unit. I'm Hayden Ireland, an automation specialist with electric supply and equipment, and we're going to discuss upgrading your standard black bezel panel view to a modern HMI like a panel view plus seven. Did you know there is a conversion utility that will take a Panel Builder 32 application and convert it to a Factory Talk View Studio application? It's actually built right into Factory Talk View Studio. This will keep you from having to rebuild your HMI application from scratch, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of development time. Before we jump into doing a conversion, I'd like to highlight the migration guide. This publication shows you tables with Panel View standard part numbers and then gives you replacement panel view plus seven part numbers. It also gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to import and convert your application. Make sure you read through chapter one to understand what the conversion can and cannot do with your Panel Builder 32 application. First thing you'll wanna do is get a copy of the Panel Builder 32 application running in your panel view. That file will have a .pva extension. It's the file that gets uploaded and downloaded to the panel view. Use Panel Builder 32 to convert that terminal file to a .pba file, which is the Panel Builder 32 project file. Although Panel Builder 32 is not supported under Windows 10, we have had no issues installing and running Panel Builder 32 on our Windows 10 boxes. Once Factory Talk View Studio is open, select the New tab. Give the application a name and then select the resolution of the PanelView Plus 7 that will run the converted application. Select either PanelView Plus 7 Standard or Performance and then select Import. Select PanelBuilderApplication.pba and then browse to the .pba file and select it. Select Next and then take a look at the Import options. We're going to stay at a high level but I do want to point out two things. If you select Use Existing Window Size, then it will use the resolution of the Panel Builder 32 file. Once the import is complete, go into Project Settings and look at the original resolution. Change the window size from the custom size to the resolution of the new Panel View Plus 7 and select either Standard or Performance and then select OK. If Scale Graphic Displays is deselected, then the application will only take up a fractional area of the screen. If you are converting the application to a Panel View Plus 7 with higher resolution than the original application, select Convert to New Window Size and leave the Scaled Graphic Displays checked. Then select Finished. The application will be scaled to the new resolution and take up the entire screen. In this case, images and font sizes may need to be adjusted so that they can be easily read. If you have time, attempt multiple imports with different settings to see which import settings work best for your application. The other thing I'll point out is if you get this fail to open project error during the import, you need to copy your .pba file to the local drive instead of trying to open it from a mapped or an external drive. This error could also happen if you have the file open in Panel Builder 32 while trying to do the import. Once the application is converted, the results window of the import will be contained in the project status window. If you scroll to the bottom of the window, you can highlight the last line which will have the path to the convert log. Copy and paste this into the explorer window to bring up the convert log. Each of the entries in the log are items that potentially need to be addressed in the application. For instance, message display object will be converted to multi-state indicator object requires no action. Entries that require attention are addressed in chapter one of the migration guide that we talked about earlier. The last item I'd like to talk about is the communication setup for your conversion. I'm not going to address protocol specific items, but I would like to point out that the conversion creates what are called HMI tags. Open the tag folders under HMI tags. Notice the node name in the Panel Builder 32 file will be used as the prefix or shortcut name for every HMI tag in the application. So when you go in to do the communication setup, 
select create a new configuration and then finish. Select add and then change new shortcut to the shortcut name used as the prefix in the HMI tags. Once that shortcut name is associated with the physical controller, the value of the tags in the controller will populate the HMI tags in your converted application. For more information on standard panel view to panel view plus seven conversions, contact your local ES&E account manager or specialist. Also, be sure to subscribe to ES&E TV for more instructional videos like this one. Thanks for watching.